you reset and you remember what you did in sets one and two. Johnson to Orr. Nice dig by Weimer Skirch. Played back. They'll go back to Kennedy Orr. Again at Weimer Skirch, who handles that. Clark floats it over. Johnson to Orr. Back up by Clark. Ashburn. Back to Schmidt. Nice dig by Johnson. Madison to Orr. Ashburn. Schmidt will tap it over. Madison runs up on that ball. Johnson tight to the net. Jurgen's able to get a hand on it. Long rally here. Clark ends it. Wow, what a point. Great rally, good defensive effort. Madison with a few digs. Weimer skirts with a few big swings on both sides. We'll see the ender here as Clark finding Mo off the edge. Ashburn serves. There's Orr. Weimer skirts, great job to get a hand on that. Ashburn got it over. We're back to Bree Orr. And this one down. Kennedy Orr with her first kill of this set Excuse in me, set Kennedy four. Orr, sorry. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Kennedy Orr in set four, 10 kills on 15 swings and no errors in set four alone. Madison. Great dig up by Stelpus. Ashburn, then to Schmidt. Wow. Schmidt swinging fearless there in between the block of Huseman and Jurgens and down for a point and a 3-1 lead for Champlin. Oh, Jurgens just got up late. Here's Clark serve. Floats it over for an ace. Or just looking at that ball, watching it drop in front of her and Clark with a clean ace. Great serve, a nobody moved. Clark serving, handled by Madison this time. Johnson goes outside, Hughesman off. Stalpis, Clark runs it down. Stalpis over. Whistle. She's off the floor when she made contact with the play with the ball. It is a point for Egan as she is not allowed to leave the court and play the ball. And that is the discussion that's going on between John Yunker and our down official. Great play by Phil, great call by Phil Rundina recognizing uh, it's honestly, it's a safety issue. And after, we'll take a look at this. You see Clark sprint after this one. She's clean, but then the next touch. Schmidt gets blocked, Ashburn. Weimer skirts go back to Schmidt again. <laughs> Schmidt saying, get on my back, let's do the thing. That is her, set, uh, I believe, 18th kill of the match. She just uncorks on this ball. Madison expecting something with some more spin, already commits to a platform play, and it goes off her forehead. Thompson's serve. Ooh. Back to Huseman, gets blocked. And it's 6-2, Champlain Park. Huseman in trouble, uh, blocked again, and it'll be a timeout for Hall of Fame coach Kathy Gillen and the Egan Wildcats. Everything falling Champlin's way. They are up 6-2 here in a decisive set five. We'll take a look at this last point. Amador, decent pass. They go back, and the clamp, is that Hilly? It absolutely is. Statistically, that'll get a half block for her and Stelpis, but Hilly all over that ball. The junior middle blocker playing hard volleyball, not a uh, not some not one of the glamour kids that we talk about often as far as getting the big kills and getting all the all the sets, but she is the hardest working kid on this Champlin Park team. 6-2 Champlin Park. Trying to continue what they've done well here in this fifth and final set. Thompson serve, handled. And Wong, and kept alive, Ashburn and then Smith. Oh, set up Wong again, this time finds the court. Big point for Egan. 
Ling Wong with the kill. Ling Wong going through the seam of the block there. Big swing for the junior outside as uh, not able to close that time was Hilly paying a little bit too much attention to Jurgens with good reason. Jurgens having a great match in the latter half here. Bernsteiner serves to Schmidt. Ashburn to Stalpis. Or to Wong. And that one down. That is a big swing and a laser accuracy onto the end line there for Ling Wong. Six to four. Bernsteiner serves. Schmidt late to react to that ball. Stelp is over, gets tipped back. Point Egan. Three in a row for the Wildcats. That is the blocking vision that Ellie Huseman uses to get herself recruited to Minnesota. Normally you watch the ball there and she's going to be on the way down. She recognizes Stelpus in a bad way and actually delays her block. Ashburn is Stelpus. Madison, nice play on the ball. Or it's swap to be over and is by Huseman. Ashburn back to Schmidt. Schmidt, five. Schmidt one on one against Wong is going to end poorly for Egan every time they do it. It's a free ball opportunity and just a gorgeous ball. And Schmidt able to take that ball into the one. Block by Ashburn and point for Champlin Park. Or pushes Wong into the net, and it's an 8-5 lead for the Rebels. Emma Schmidt back to serve. Laser just misses. What did you say the other day, Andy? Why well, pay for the whole chair when you can just absolutely when you just the need the seat. edge when you just need the edge feaster famine Schmidt going for it again misses that one. Ashburn to Stalpus. Nice dig. Or to the middle. Bumped over by Pernsteiner. Ashburn to Hilly this time. And he's been with the dig. Wall gets blocked. Ashburn and Hilly get up for it. 9-6 Rebels. Two great defensive plays, one by Pernsteiner, one by Huseman, but eventually the net defense of Hilly and Ashburn housing Wong. Or and pounded down by Moe. I haven't called her name much lately, but Abby Moe. It's a big point for the Wildcats. Yeah, Abby Moe always working, always available. They feed her every once in a while, and it pays off there, cutting the Rebel lead to two. Ashburn outside to Lauren Clark. 10-7, Champlin Park. LC getting it done there. Lauren Clark with the big hammer down the line on the first ball side out. We'll take a look here. She cranks this ball. Beautiful spot, untouched. Good serve by Stalpus. Great dive by Johnson to get to that ball. Ashburn back, Prasky. Right to the net, or gets it down. Boy, what a big point for Egan. It looked like that was going to go down for Champlin Park. You get it up, and Orr finally finishes. Yeah, the server seed ball very, very poorly handled, and eventually or able to take a big swing. Amador serve. Stalpus Ashburn. Clark back to the middle. Nicely played by Moe. Ashburn to Clark again. Hit back and then over. And after that, a point for Champlin Park. Kelly Johnson with a unnecessary double contact there. Trying to do too much. Big play. Ball comes across. Johnson facing the net. Worried about the ball, worried about the contact coming over. And it will be a uh, rebel point on the double contact. 11-8, Ashburn back to serve. Oh, it just dives it over the net for an ace. Smiling down 
one on the Rebels right now as the serve catches tape, and it is a 12-8 lead for Champlain Park. They are three points away from the first state title in school history in any sport. And right now, John Yunker trying to remind his athletes to just play one point at a time. Egan, Kathy Gillen on the other side, uh, doing what she has to to calm the team down and remember that we're gonna need one simple touch here. Uh, as my friend Dennis Amundsen says all the time, all you gotta do is put three good contacts together and you'll get that side out you need. If you try and figure out anything short of that could be problematic here for the Wildcats in their sixth straight state final appearance. Uh, they beat these Rebels a couple of years ago and four of the Rebels that we see right now, uh, Stalpus, Ashburn, Weimer, Skirch, and Schmidt were on the floor as they watched Egan get the gold medals trying to get their own right now. Ashburn across. Out of the timeout, Johnson setting the ball in the middle of the Jurgens, handled by Stalpis. Ashburn outside the park. Johnson, Jurgens again, handled by Ashburn. Weimer scores up. There's Schmidt, missed. Big swing from Schmidt there. She's trying to take over on her own as well she should. 9 12. Madison to serve here. Alpes, Ashburn's got to run that ball down. Schmidt pushing it deep and long again. Schmidt back-to-back -back errors from the senior outside hitter who has carried this team much of the way here in the final for sure. Stelpus to Ashburn. Back to Schmidt again. Johnson will set up or. 12-11, three in a row for Egan. Kennedy Orr just taking over on that swing. That is about the seventh or eighth out of system ball that everybody knew she was getting, and she answers with another kill. Out of system ball, bump set, gonna go cross court, off the block, picked up nicely by Madison. Johnson at 15 feet, one option. She goes to Orr, and Orr goes over the large block of Prasky there, and down into the corner for a kill. We were just talking three points ago about how Champlin Park just needs to take care of some small things and finish it out, and that's two errors uh, by Schmidt and a big swing from Oren. Suddenly, the almost dead uh, Egan Wildcats are one point away from tying this thing up in a deciding set five. Schmidt's gonna hit this ball really, really hard, John. Yeah. Kaylin Madison serving. Her team trailing by one here late in set five. Ashburn to Schmidt. You're right. Dug up though. Nicely back throw. Looking back to Kennedy or block. Park and Prasky. It's a switch block there as Clark, who'd been hitting left side in transition, uh, they move her to the right and she lines up or perfectly. Stuff block, her and Prasky close, 13-11. Clark serves, Johnson, back for Orr. Pushes it down the line, Stelpis picks that up. They go to Schmidt, tipped by Egan. Point, Champlin Park, it is match point for the Rebels. Big swing for Schmidt there as she goes and cracks one off the block. Great use by the senior outside hitter. Championship point. Lauren Clark in her first state tournament appearance. Ball tight to the net. Orr's got to get this over and does. Ashburn outside. Schmidt off hands to the middle. Madison set up Rior. Got it down, Egan still alive at 14-12. Kennedy Orr, another big swing in transition. The sophomore setter uh, having a little bit of a hiccup in the service category this tournament. We'll see how she does here. She's got a lace two in a row.
Big swings all the way across. Excitement and elation for the Rebels. Heartbreak for the Wildcats.